Aloha, Taloba. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. So somebody asked me the other day to do a tutorial on a double spin. So double, we got our two sticks right here, my two practice sticks, uh, which will transition to fire knives uh, later on. Uh, what I'd like to do is show you two motions, on one on the right and one on the left. Now, to remember which hand is which, my watch is on my left hand. You guys have an idea as far as which is my right and my left. Now, if this is too difficult for you, or if you need some extra help with this motion or any other motion, feel free to uh, DM me, direct message me on uh, my Instagram. It's Ikaika Hafoka. Um, you can also comment on this video down below or just reach out to me via YouTube uh, as well as Facebook. You can message me there. I offer free online training via Zoom. It's just 30 minutes, and I can help break down any kind of motions or anything you might need help with. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start with the right hand. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do what's called a one hand spin. A one hand spin means that you're gonna use only one hand and the knife should be on the left side if you're right handed. You know if you did it right because when you throw and release and catch it, it'll end up exactly where it originally started from. So for example, oh, I'll do that again. One more time. And there you have it. That's the one hand spin. Again, the knife ended back up where it originally started. Uh, a little tip is I like to tell my students to push off your thumb. So as you're rotating, I'll come a little closer. As you're rotating like this, I use my thumb and I use it to press it up to help get the little extra oomph. So some of you can practice at home, a one hand spin. As you get better, you'll notice that your circle will get smaller. So the circle starts off kind of big because you're catching a little or a lot of air. And as you get better, you'll notice that that gap and that circle, that hand will start to tighten up just like this. You get that nice smooth motion. The second motion I'd like to show everybody here today is with our left hand, kind of like a figure eight. We're creating a circle with our left hand, just like this. I'll come a little closer so you can see what my hand is doing. Take notice of my three fingers. What I like to do is keep this open so it can swivel and rotate a lot easier in the center. I only use this finger and my thumb. And I bring it in and I rotate out. I bring it in and I rotate out. Now as a quick reminder, YouTube has a slow motion or you can slow down the video if this is going too fast or if you need a review, feel free to use that feature. So now the fun part, we get to combine it. So what you're going to do is you're going to wind up with your left, because typically this motion you can do without thinking. There you go, just like that. And now we're going to wind up with the right. I like to start with the knife down so I can build up momentum. And our eyes and our focus will now go straight to our one hand, our right hand. We're going to toss it up and get started in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three. And there you guys have it. It's an awesome smooth motion. It's typically a lot easier for uh, people who have these two basic motions down. Um, actually, the one has that basic. I would consider that intermediate. But when you combine these two motions, it looks fantastic. We speed it up, and there you have it. Now, when you're ready, you're ready to call it a gift from doing this motion. You stop, spin with your left hand, and all you do is you toss at your right and catch with your left. And then there you have it. That's your doubles motions. Again, if you have any questions or if you need any extra help, I offer free Zoom um, online training, 30 minutes. Uh, ask me any questions you want. I'll break down any motion that you need. And I'm super excited to meet you guys. Now, at the end, if you made it this far all the way down to the end, comment below. Let me know where you guys are from, uh, why you're watching it. You're learning it for like baton twirling, um, or you're learning for fire knife, etc. Just tell me about your journey. I'm super excited to hear from you guys. All right, until then, you guys have a blessed day. See ya.